it was July the 3rd, we were approaching Gibson, our small tall America of choice. One bar, one dinner, 70, 17 churches or whatever. And we were going west to east, so we ended her backs. 15 miles per hour is a slow speed in a car, but, but on, a, on a bike is, is pretty good. So, so it was morning and the sun was pretty low. And between the low, the low sun and the, the flat ride and the good wind was the perfect time to take shadow pictures. That is when you take a picture of your own shadow while you're riding. And Micah, th he thinks she's a really good photographer. He thinks he has talent, so he's doing a lot of bullshit with shutter speed and, and, and framing and, and what have you. And we can both hear the sound of a truck coming behind us. I mean, I hear it. I assume Micah does. I, I think he does. We both hug the shoulder a little bit. We're, we're still taking the shadow pictures. And, the, and then he sees that it's a Tyson truck full of fucking crates of screaming chicken packed together and, and there were feathers flying out of the truck bed, like some kind of, I, I, I don't know what kind of metaphor. And I scream up to Micah, who did I mention was in front of me. I said, Micah, look at this late fucking poultry. <laughs> and and he'll, he looks back at me. He has his left hand on his handlebar and his right hand on his bullshit professional camera. And, and he, he's laughing and he starts to say something, but I, 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 I can't hear him. The truck bats separates from the cab, flies backwards and takes him out of the road. Before the ambulance came, this public relation lady from Tyson came to talk to me. I didn't realize I was still holding my camera in my hand. She has to yell it to me so I could hear her over this maimed and freaked out birds. <laughs> Say, lady, my, my friend is under 3,000 chicken. I, I, I couldn't get to him. He's, he's buried under there. Where's the ambulance? And then I, I, I threw my camera on the ground. So what, what I don't have is all the pictures from Wyoming. I had this picture of him holding a fish that was bigger than his head and neck. And then there are all these pictures that I don't remember taking. Losing those is worse than losing the, one I, the ones I do. about 45 minutes for them to arrive to get him out. He didn't have a scratch on him, no, not a head trauma or anything. But he had been face down in the mud with hundreds of pounds of weight in his back. He had suffocated. So the part that everyone's pissing me about is that after I've, I filled all the paperwork at the police station, I. I called his mom and I called my mom. I didn't know what to do. I just took my bike and I kept riding.